Turning to the state legislature today, one of the biggest bills of the 2019 session to continue Medicaid expansion failed on the Senate floor late this afternoon, but supporters say it could come back to life. After nearly two hours of debate on the Senate floor, the vote to advance the controversial bill deadlocked 25 to 25. That means the bill is dead unless supporters can convince enough senators to change their mind within the next 24 hours. Supporters of House Bill 658 say they'll try a motion on Friday to reconsider today's action and bring the bill back for another vote. The bill would continue Medicaid expansion past a June 30th expiration date. The $700 million a year program provides government funded health coverage to about 95,000 low income adults in Montana. Supporters said the program has accomplished many positive things in the state during its first three years, such as helping rural hospitals and the poorest citizens gain health coverage. But some Republicans, including Senate President Scott Sales of Bozeman, said the huge spending in the bill is something that the state and the country cannot sustain. I'm going to tell you what, this runaway spending that this bill promotes isn't good for those future generations. It's good for this generation. And to hell with the people that are going to pay the bill, which are my kids and my grandkids. And yours too. And this isn't a Republican problem. It's not a Democrat problem. It's our problem. Five Republican senators joined all 20 Democratic senators in support of the bill. House Bill 658 also is facing a Tuesday deadline for advancing back to the House.